Hey everyone, welcome back to another outdoor adventure video. I'm here outside of Fred Oster's Fine Violins, which is a violin shop here in Philadelphia. It sells a variety of instruments ranging from violins, cellos, violas, to also instruments like guitars and mandolins. It's slightly raining, so we're gonna get inside real quick. But before we do, just gonna say that we're gonna be looking at a variety of instruments ranging from, you know, three to $4,000 all the way into the stratosphere above the clouds. So that's gonna be really fun and exciting. And also we're gonna get into a few do's and don'ts about what to do when buying an instrument. All right, let's quickly go inside. Whoa. This place looks like Hogwarts. Why does every place look like Hogwarts? <laughs> it feels like I'm in, it feels like I'm in Hogwarts. Look at this. What is that instrument? What is, what is that instrument? Wow. The air even smells vintagey. Let's take a look around. 1779. What? Wow, look, look, I found a harp. I mean, harp is technically a string instrument, right? Hey, perfect pitches. What note is this? That's what I thought. A cabinet of curiosities and mysteries. What? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to be looking around. Hey, Fred. <laughs> Check out my crib. Not bad. Mom, I don't have enough clothes. Can you tell me where my underwear is? <laughs> All right, so I've got Fred here, who's the owner of the shop. Fred, thank you so much for your time today. Could you just tell us a bit about these instruments in the three to $4,000 price range? Right, and these actually are all the same price. These are all $3,500. Okay. And this one's French, 1880s. These are 1920s German instruments from the town of Mark Neukirchen. Well, I'm looking forward to playing these instruments, uh, Fred, so I'm gonna get right to it. Okay. Thank you. Great. All right, so now that Fred's outside, I want to show you guys that I have brought my own instrument to test against the sound, right? You know this instrument so well by now. This is my trusty companion, my trusty sidekick. This is the $69 violin. Not bad, not bad. Very good. Speaking of sidekick, it's good to have someone with you while you're trying out instruments to give you feedback. In fact, being able to play for people in general is crucial to developing your internal listening and also helps with performance anxiety, where if you're not used to playing in front of people, it can suddenly feel like you can't hear yourself on stage. And that's where Tonic helps. By opening a studio on Tonic, you can practice and receive feedback and encouragement from others. There's also groups where you can discuss about music-related topics or ask questions to the community, like what to look for in buying an instrument. The best part about it is that it's completely free. So download Tonic today and become a member of the practice community. So this instrument will provide us a great place to start from that we'll know exactly what the sound is like when compared. Well, do you hear that? Is this a maraca or a violin? <laughs> So I think at each different price range, the role of the instrument changes. At the three to $4,000 price range, it's most likely that you've been upgrading yourself from something similar to this, maybe in the few hundred dollar price range, and you're looking for something that is going to be focused on playability. So that the sound is open, it's generous, you don't have to fight against the instrument. I mean, just even tuning this violin was like really difficult. They've stood the test of time, these instruments, so I'm excited to get into them. All right, you get the idea. You get the idea. Let's get let's let's get started. Wow, that's I mean, the projection is right there. The sound, the playability, it's so much easier to play, right? I mean, in the room, it sounds really big, and I can tell that it has a lot of high frequencies, so it's definitely pushing that sound out. Wow, this is, this is great. Okay, let's, let's test this one. Yeah, this one's also pretty good too. All right, so the last one in this price range,
Wow, that one is also one of my favorites as well. It'd be, if I had to pick between this round, I'd probably go with either this one or this one. Why don't we uh, try out some more expensive instruments? All right, so we've reached the next tier, the next price tier. This is in the 15, I would say 15 to 20K range. All right, let's give it a whirl. <laughs> I can tell that the sound is definitely more powerful in terms of that there's like almost a second or third layer of sound. And in the previous instruments, it was like, it kind of, there was only like maybe a total two layers, one on the bottom, one on the top, or maybe only on the top. Uh, and by top, I mean like a higher frequency, right? And a lower frequency. And there's less of the mids. I feel like it's, it could be a little warmer for my taste. All right. Moving on, this is the modern instrument, uh, the contemporary made in 2023, which is this year, wow. Yeah, wow, this instrument is a beautiful, just so we know that our ears aren't getting, you know, it's like when you smell too much perfume and you gotta take out the coffee beans. Let's take out the coffee bean for, for a little quick uh, demo. Yeah, okay, that was a demo. Wow, this has got me excited. Each level has offered something new, so I'm excited to get to the next level. It's gonna be the 30 to 50K. Fred! <laughs> but wait, this just changed now. This just changed as soon as you want. I mean, maybe it's because we just played it a little bit. Yeah. That's oh my gosh, what is happening? That's a lot Pretty better cool. than when I just first started picking up. Like, I mean, hit the rewind button. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's rewind time. I feel like it's, it could be a little warmer for my taste. Wow, that was, I was actually mind blowing that um, the other instrument just, the Roth just completely opened up after like my second, on my second try. The most important thing is to, even at the shop, Mm -hmm. Give each instrument a little bit of time. Like a little bit more time than you think. Not Like the first impression might not be right. the right impression. And you haven't played that instrument before. So right. you're now... And the, the instrument might not have been played for a while. Right. So you don't know how to play that particular instrument and hasn't been used for a while, so it might be a little cold. Well, thank you for enlightening us. Tell us about these ones. Oh my gosh, this looks so fancy here. What is this? Oh, that's just fancy junk, you know, that... <laughs> Hey, let's ignore that. <laughs> so what about these instruments makes them, you know, even a step higher? Much more handmade. Handmade. Um, small workshop. Older? Yeah, this is 1905. Okay. These aren't that much older. I mean, this- Where are they from? Where are they from? This so, is made in Chicago, Chicago? in 1960 by okay. Becker. Okay, American. So that's okay. Carl Becker. And this has got a Sesto, Sesto Rocchi in Italy. Okay. 1957. 1957. Oh, the modern Italian makers, right? right. Part of that crowd. Okay, and then this and one is a, in London. A top tier of modern Italian. It's like 50s. So 1957, 1905, 05. 1960. Okay, got it, got it. So, because, you know, I mean, thirty dollars to $50,000 seems like it's more of an investment, right, at this point. When you're buying such an instrument, is there something where, you know, a few years down the line when you want to sell it, let's say 10 years down the line, are these instruments not only gonna hold their value, but actually increase. Both, they should. What about if the maker is still alive? I mean, is it better to just simply contact the, the maker themselves? I mean, what, what's the pros and cons of that? Or is it you know, better to just you know, see the instrument itself and just buy the one that you love? Likely buying it from the maker would be about the same as buying it from a dealer. So there's no- Price-wise, it should be about the same. It should be about the same. Uh, so what are the prices of, of, of each one? I think this just is- curious. 38,000. 38. Uh, the Hill, I think, is about 40,000. 40,000. And uh, the Becker is 45. $45,000. Okay. What we learned from the last, I would say, tier of violins was that we need to give this one a bit more of a break in. Now we're gonna, just like a nice, nice juicy steak, we're gonna let it rest for a bit. 
um, and then we'll come back to it. All right, so we're gonna go to this one. I'm starting to also experience a lot more colors, at least with this instrument, where the previous instruments all had great power, they had great sound, I think projection, playability was all there, but this instrument really stands out to me in terms of not only with the layers, but being able to switch between them. Uh, it's kind of like having different sets of emotions that, that are already baked into the instrument. Oh wow, it's also been a while since I played without a shoulder rest, but I'm doing it so I don't have to keep putting it on and off for each instrument. Wow, I really like this instrument. I think this instrument has become my favorite. It's got a beautiful singing quality to it. And then... Wow, I, that's a really nice instrument. I can, I can feel that it's just, it's just ready to, ready to share. Ha, I knew I wouldn't go wrong when I saw these fancy inlays. I don't know if it's just me, but I really enjoy when instruments look a little bit darker, when they're too bright looking visually. It, it's like, I don't know, my, my sound starts to become really bright as well. It's suddenly be like Neh. Okay, I'm gonna try and not think about, I'm gonna imagine like the instrument is really dark. It's got a really dark sound. <laughs> Oh my God, it's actually working. What the heck? Well, that just destroyed all my previous thoughts about each instrument. But I will say though that the nature of the instrument is definitely not dark, but it has that. And I think that that's what makes these instruments so amazing. Like that as soon as a higher price tier, it's because they have a base personality, but then they also are very, very, you know, pliable, very flexible in which direction you as the musician want them to take. I'm in a buyer's dilemma. What, which one is like actually the instrument for me? Well, I think, I think the only choice is to go up. I feel like Surely there must be more expensive things. Let's ask Fred. Yeah, Fred. Yeah, Fred. <laughs> all right, Fred, we've had such a great time trying out all these instruments. I mean, I've I gotta say that, you know, each price point I've had my favorites. It's like being, you know, in love over and over again. It's quite it's quite frustrating. But um, do you have anything else that is even more special than these ones that you that in your collection? Okay, well, keeping in mind these are all Stradivari models. Right. Here's another interpretation of Stradivari. This one, 1862, Jean-Baptiste Viome in Paris. Oh, Viome, of course. Yeah, just a beautiful one. Oh my gosh, yeah. I've, I've played several Viomes before. You know, my old teacher used to have one. Well, this is it. No way! This is the, this is the violin from Aaron, Aaron Roseanne. Roseanne? Yeah. <gasps> Oh my gosh, he like only let me play it for like 10 seconds this one time. But now I get, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, but now I get to. <laughs> oh man, I get to play it. I miss you, Mr. Roseanne. Wow, that's such a robust sound. That's like, bruh. This is like him. You know, he always used to warm up like this. And he'd be like, play me something. <laughs> you know? Oh. I wonder if it still smells like cigars. Oh my gosh, it does! 
oh, it still smells like, like him. Wow, that's so well, cool. Shit, he's the last person to use it. Wow. How much is this? Four fifty. Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Hey, Papa. You have no money. Oh my gosh. Um, wow, four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wow, can I can I take this out for a few days? Sure. Really? Wow. By the way, one last thing before we finish the video. Um, what do you think about this instrument? I have here a very special specimen of an instrument that I'd like you to take a look at. This is like the cheapest possible violin. <laughs> Would you pay seventy dollars for it? Oh yeah, something like that. Sure, you're getting. I made a dollar profit, guys. Nice. What's Seventy dollars. Deal. All right. I'll see you guys in the it. next video. Thank you so much. Well, make sure that to uh, like and subscribe. And also, I'll see you in the practice room on Tonic. And if you're interested in learning about selling instruments, this video today was about buying instruments. If you're interested in selling instruments, look out for the next video. It's going to be uploaded soon. All right. Thank you so much, Fred.